to a very welcome reopening for some uh, stressed mums, dads and grandparents, I imagine. Yes, it really is. So many parents have told me it's just so lovely to be able to share their children with other friends and family, and especially first-time parents, first-time mums. So they've basically spent the last year of their maternity leave in isolation. And of course, it's not just centres like this reopening today too, but a change in government guidance on close contact. And earlier, two friends hugged for the first time here and met up together, something they say no amount of video calls or messaging could ever beat. This is funny doing it, it's been so long. <laughs> I know, you feel slightly like you shouldn't be. I, d I think, I don't know how long that will take to come back for you. Just do it instinctively. It's just the social interaction that everyone's missed, isn't it? And as long as you're safe and as long as you're doing, you know, the things that you can to protect each other, I don't see why this shouldn't be like the natural way of getting back to real life. It feels amazing. I mean, it's been, it's been difficult this year, stuck at home, so we're just so happy to be out. Now, of course, as centres like this reopen, it has to be done as safely and as clean as possible. After each session, they spend about half an hour spraying all the equipment down to make sure it's clean and ready for the next lot of very young, very excited customers. Soft playing COVID times. Sangeeta Lal, thank you very much.